and welcome. My name is James Rice, and I'm cybersecurity faculty here at Mohawk Valley Community College. And the purpose of this video is to get us introduced to the CTF challenges that are being deployed to our cyber sandbox. Now, as a quick bit of background, CTF stands for Capture the Flag, and uh, these are really, really common things to have. Lots of competitions and events all across the country run CTF challenges. Um, and they can, they can really be thought of from our perspective as a whole bunch of mini challenges or mini puzzles, cyber puzzles for you to go and figure out. And your team will be awarded points if you can solve some of the, the CTF challenges that we make available to you. Um, now, uh, every CTF has a slightly different flavor from one competition to the next. So it is important to kind of get it introduced to what might our flavor uh, look like, as well as how are you going to interact with them on, on the actual competition day. So that's why we're putting this video together. And uh, so I'm going to jump over here to our uh, main website and head over to the sandbox. And so then we can see how to deploy this new challenge that's now available. Um, let's see, it uh, looks like it's scroll all the way down to the bottom here. We should have this new capture the flag category. You can click on the how to play button to get some of the details that I'm kind of giving a little bit more in depth here. But nevertheless, I'm going to hit create environment and create a new uh, CTF environment for me to go launch into and, and preview. Now, uh, something to realize here is that uh, when we're looking at capture the flag challenges, my biggest recommendation to everyone, as I'm starting this up and launching over the environment, uh, my biggest recommendation to everyone is simply be resourceful. These are challenges that are designed to be uh, puzzles, and many of them have a clever solution. Many of them have a have a very straightforward solution. But whatever whatever the problem might be, just be as resourceful as you can when whenever you're taking on CTF challenges. That's that's my big recommendation across the board. Okay, so my virtual machine is cloning out and turning on. This is what we should see over on our sandbox. You have this new CTF dash Cali machine. That's the one that we're going to be using and accessing this. And I'll I'll pop open a console to this so that we can see what this uh, actually looks like. Now the credentials, of course, to get into this very simple as the others it's meant to be easy to get into we've got a username of sandbox and we've got a password of just password and that that's what will get us into this machine now now this machine has been isolated from the rest of the internet from everything else so you do have an isolated up-to-date Kali machine that that is our uh, our CTF platform for for this activity um, and very similar to the mini hacks you also have a scoreboard that you can go and access if you pop open a web browser and visit the IP address so I'm going to start up Mozilla. You can see here we've actually got it linked. It's it's uh, it's going to an IP address of 172.20.0.1. That's where the main scoreboard is. And similar to the mini hacks, I'm going to log in. I'll log in with those same credentials of sandbox and password. And this is what will uh, simulate exactly what you guys would be doing on the competition day. So the idea will be once you log into the scoreboard, you'll be able to see a list of challenges that are available and get some descriptions about them. And so right now we've got a, a total of three different categories of challenges with three challenges each. So a total of nine CTF challenges for you to go and complete. And as it says here, we can switch over to the challenges page and actually see details about them. So we can see we've got some cryptography based challenges, some reverse engineering style challenges, as well as some uh, trivia challenges. And uh, for every single one of these challenges, uh, how you would interact with our interface is by, well, clicking on a challenge, seeing what it's all about, reading a short description, and sometimes, in some uh, challenges, you might even have to download a file. So this one, it's a crypto challenge, and it says, see if you can decrypt the attached message. So I could click save on this, you know, download this data and see if I can figure out what the message actually is. Um, uh, something like with the reversing challenge, you can kind of get the idea as well. It's like, well, we give you this binary file. See if you can reverse engineer what, what, uh, what, what the details are out of this. Uh, some of the trivia based ones, a lot of these might be just as it sounds more trivia type questions where a lot of this comes down to your Google foo knowledge, right? Like how well can you look things up online? Uh, you'd be surprised some of the little details we might ask you. It might it might be pretty tricky to look up online and, you, and you'd, you'd really have to find the right keywords to go find the details. But nevertheless, those are the types of things that you can expect. And uh, these are some good practice challenges. Um, I, I definitely emphasize like this machine being a Cali box, it's got a whole bunch of tools built in, you know, programming languages like Python and whatnot. So whatever you can do to solve the problem, short of like hacking into the scoring server and finding out what the answer is, like, then I'd say it's all fair game in that sense. 
you know, so, so asking other people, looking up things online, doing it in one language you're comfortable with, running some little script, finding stuff like that. Like, yeah, that, that's really what you should be doing with a lot of these CTF challenges to figure out these puzzles. Um, they oftentimes go in increasing difficulty. So that's what our current number scheme is here. You know, you're 101, you're 201, you're 301. So you don't have to do them in any order, but it, it of course is is uh, if you're up for a challenge, you know, take start start a little bit easier and work your way up. And certainly, as you get in a bit of a rhythm solving these problems, it makes some of the the more complex ones a little bit uh, a little bit uh, easier to take on. So you're not taking these big step ups by jumping into j jumping into the bigger problems. Uh, many of the problems as well, uh, you will uh, you'll you'll have some point values assigned to them. So that might be a reason why you would go after one type of challenge as opposed to another with these with these basic challenges that we've got deployed here it's really not about the points it's just about seeing can you get some practice with these and can you get some practice uh, completing them now when it comes time to actually submitting you kind of see here that it says every single one of these say you will be submitting a flag so as it sounds you know capture the flag the whole idea is you're going to find or discover or submit some flag that that's really what we're going for in this. So uh, whenever you go to submit your answer that that's what you should be typing here you should be typing flag open brace the curly brace type whatever it is was the answer so whether it's a decrypted message whether it's a string maybe it's just a special number who knows what it might be you would type that inside curly braces and then hit submit and if you typed out the right thing it would say correct congratulations the, you know the colors would change and it's like great you just won uh, some points for your team by doing that on the actual day of the event um, but uh, obviously you can see here, it's like, well, if you don't know what the flag actually is, it'll yell back at you, it'll say incorrect, and that's something that uh, you just have to kind of keep guessing, keep trying that out. So uh, with a lot of our challenges, we, 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 we do pay attention to, are you sitting there just trying to brute force flags? Like, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, uh, you, you, you certainly will be throttled in that sense, but, um, realize that, you know, it's not like you're losing points by trying things out. So, you know, if you made 20 wrong submissions as you're guessing and trying to find answers and stuff like that, like, that's okay. Um, a lot of this is meant to, it's meant to be, uh, get in there and try it, right? Get in there, break a few eggs as you try to make your omelet type thing. And, uh, don't worry about being wrong, right? Uh, a lot of this is, is really meant to be, see if you can solve the puzzle, work together to solve the puzzle. And, and, and that's the idea here of the capture the flag so hope you have a bit of fun with these challenges that's what this vm is all about look things up online open things in different tabs and in other windows use use whatever languages you're comfortable with try to do whatever you can be resourceful find online website tools whatever it might be and and, and have some fun as we go about uh, uh improving our skills here for the competition okay great